When harvesting with my John Deere S680, the third problem that I had during harvesting wet corn was ground kernels. And uh, just chewing them up, 25% moisture and higher is where it's really bad. And so we tested last winter in my farm shop and uh, what we found out was that the John Deere round bar, uh, the, the distance between the bars is just too narrow and it doesn't allow the shell corn to escape the chamber quickly enough. And so then the rotor keeps spinning at 32 mile an hour and just keeps grinding it up and it won't let it drop out of the chamber. So to solve that problem, then we invented and patented an enhanced flow uh, round bar concave. And so you can see with my fingers, they fit down in here, over here with John Deere's, I can barely get my fingers down in between. So with this enhanced, then we can get the shell corn out of the chamber because I don't want to keep it in there. Don't have any reason to keep it into the chamber. So we're going to demonstrate here today, we're using 25% moisture corn. This is a lot like sand through the hourglass, except we're running kernels uh, through a plastic funnel. On your mark, get set, go. Now normally the corn would have cobs in it, would have husks in it, and would have some leaves in it, but we're using clean shell corn, came right out of the bin, and we just added water to bring it back up to 25% moisture. Done. 17 seconds. 17 seconds. All right. Now we're going to switch over here and we're going to dump the same corn. It's going to go into the same plastic funnel. The only difference is now we're using the John Deere OEM uh, round bar uh, with the 25% moisture corn. We came pretty close to get most of them in there. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to time this one. 25% moisture corn. The only difference is this gap is much narrower than what ours is. On your marks, get set, go. Of course, obviously, you can tell it's just not wanting to flow through there. And it's because these wet kernels bridge against each other on these narrow round bars. And uh, we realize the rotor's going to be moving, and that's going to help, and the 32 mile an hour thing's going to help. But still, it's just way too slow. Um, this doesn't have any cobs, doesn't have any husks, doesn't have any leaves, doesn't have anything mixed in with it. And you can see what a difficult time we're having of getting that 25% moisture corn uh, to drop down through there. So, if the corn stays in this chamber, the rotor's going to keep grinding it up, and that's what's going to make these uh, cracked grain. Done. 45. 45 seconds. So over here we were 18 seconds, 45 seconds. And you can see just a little bit of enhancement in that round bar made all the difference in the world. So we believe John Deere's is the problem because it's too narrow. We believe ours is the solution to this ground kernels by simply enhancing the round bars. Thank you.